Hey everyone, Dan Takahashi here. Gold, silver. It was shooting up a lot for the last past few weeks. Then suddenly, big crash. Getting a lot of questions right now. Dan, is this a good time to get back into the market and buy gold, silver? I'm going to try and do an updated video today and answer a lot of questions about gold, silver, the US dollar. There's a lot going on right now. The US dollar has been moving a lot. So I'll try to give you an update in this video. My, for those of you new viewers and subscribers, my name is Dan Takahashi, former Wall Street trader. Uh, as to who I am and my background, please see the description area below. Uh, I was in the hedge fund business and then uh, just traveled the world, a bunch of different countries, and then came back to Tokyo, Japan, the end of 2019, right before Corona uh, hit, and then just started YouTube and uh, uh, all these channels and social media for the first time at the beginning of this year in January. I got about 300,000 followers across different channels and just started this English channel just two months ago. Uh, so hopefully you will subscribe and follow me going forward. Today's topic, I want to break down into three main themes. Number one, as usual, I'm going to do a bit of a review, but this time I'll give you a review a little bit more technically. Uh, gold versus the US dollar. What's going on right now? What's the correlation? Why should you care? Why should you be watching the US dollar when you're watching gold? And then number two, I'll give you my analysis based on the charts right now, what to look at, what is my idea looking at these precious metals, gold and silver. Should you be buying now? And number three, I'll give you my recommendation as usual uh, based on today's analysis. So let's get started, guys. First and foremost, let's do a quick review of what's going on here. Gold. For those of you uh, who have been probably following gold for the past few weeks, past few months, I've been basically recommending gold since, well, since I basically started YouTube, uh, since anybody ever probably knew me, <laughs> I have liked gold for a long time. I've been watching gold since I was on Wall Street uh, when I first joined in 2007, and it was only a few hundred bucks. And then I remember distinctly going to all these conferences saying, uh, who thinks that gold is going to go past $1,000? And nobody raised their hand. And then lo and behold, gold went to like 1900 1928 I believe was the high in 2011. And ever since then, I thought to myself, the next time gold crashes, I'm going to be buying gold. So I started buying uh, myself around 2015 or so during the bottom, uh, not the bottom, but like, you know, somewhere around the 2015, end of 2015, end of 2016, when gold started to get close to a thousand, I started aggressively buying at this point right here. And then ever since I started YouTube recently, uh, well, actually, basically since January, I've been pushing gold. Why? Because I believe gold is a form of money. Please, if you don't know why I like gold longer term, please see my previous videos as to why. Longer term, I recommend everybody puts gold, silver, and platinum into their portfolio. But specifically also, I've been recommending people do it short term. Buy gold short term, especially recently short term and long term divide it up my recommendation is put 70 90 percent into long term investing 30 to 10 percent into short term long term meaning over one year uh this is ideally your retirement account that you don't touch until you really need it and then short term is any ideas between a few days and a few months and the reason why i was recommending gold for long term and short term uh recently was because when it broke through this level on around uh, July and, and oh, actually no this is the end of June sorry end of June when it started breaking through getting close to 1800 I said buy why because the chart was a breakout the MACD was going up stochastics going up RSI was breaking about 50 volume was going up everything was going great so went to a straight breakout and then I recommended my investors uh, sorry my investors I recommended to my subscribers to sell all the positions right around here very simple guys i'm not a genius i'm not super smart i looked at the bollinger band and it started to test outside of the bollinger band also the rsi on a weekly basis started to get very very high and then we crashed through here and then when it started to jump back up here i recommended actually to short a little bit of silver just a little bit around here so that's where we stand today short term what i also want to give you an update on is the us dollar the US dollar, I try to measure using DXY. For those of you who are probably familiar with my videos, DXY is the dollar index. I talked about it yesterday. Now, the US dollar, historically, it moves opposite of gold. That's right. Historically, it moves the opposite. If you look throughout the last, mm, this is about 50, 60 years or so, 
you see the brown price is the US dollar the uh, what the price right here the blue price is gold they historically move in opposite directions why is this it's simple because gold is the antithesis of the dollar the US dollar is the largest reserve currency in the world the most circulated cash currency in the world and it is the new form of money it represents new money gold is old money it's been used for thousands and thousands of years again please see my previous videos in the past as to why this is but the correlation usually is negative between the two meaning that should be watching closely dxy and dxy has been trending down while gold has been trending up right no surprise negative correlation and recently the dollar is starting to pop up a little bit uh it's starting to seem like a base it's very difficult to see where things stand and recently just today the dxy moved up 0.74 percent which is why i thought is a good time for an update on gold and silver so that's so far where things stand at the moment let's do an analysis today but here going forward what's going to happen first things first let's start with the chart of gold now today's analysis is going to be short term guys mind you now looking at the chart of gold short term it's going through this zigzag pattern is this a time to buy getting a lot of questions on this first and foremost guys the macd is still trending down stochastics trending down it may look like it may start to trend up here very very difficult to tell yet it still hasn't sunk through yet rsi we're looking here it's still above 50 ah uh, it's testing it it's testing getting close to below 50 it's testing it so it's difficult to tell with rsi difficult to tell with stochastics macd is trending down okay how about volume wise volume wise i like to look at the etfs it's a little bit cleaner because when you look at the futures there's often rolling involved uh when you look at the etf big volume here in the selling days also pretty decent volume here today so this represents retail usually the macro funds are usually playing around in the futures and the retail space is usually playing around playing around investing in the etf space so retail wise there's more selling pressure than there's buying pressure uh macro wise looking at the charts it still looks to me like uh there's pressure to go down it seems not only that but looking at these candles here this is not quite engulfing this candle this chart here on august 19th but it's a very close bearish engulfer for one two three days close almost bearish engulfer so that's a pretty big engulfer right there you've seen two big red bars here and these red bars are bigger than any of these recent green bars to me that's an indication that when it falls it falls a lot now this is interesting to me to point out because silver the price also looks very similar now looking at silver futures there's a small distinction right we made this before i talked about this before a very small distinction gold started falling on august 7th silver if you look at the futures it actually started falling on august 11th so a little bit of a delay here meaning that i think gold is the initiation point for this current piece of selling but there's also another piece of small difference can you recognize it look closely at these charts silver gold i'll give you two seconds one two it's the yellow line this yellow line here is a moving average right now i'm using the 20-day moving average 20-day moving average gold has passed through its 20-day moving average silver has not passed through its 20-day uh, moving average yet interesting i think it's interesting on two aspects number one because the initiation of selling is most likely coming from gold the selling first started in gold i also talked about positioning a week ago positioning is a little bit more uh, aggressive in gold than it is silver and we're seeing here that it's already past the 20-day silver is lagging the, the movement in silver at least throughout the last couple of weeks it's lagging to gold so this looks kind of interesting to me that it may actually push through the 20-day moving average also when you look at silver versus gold this is a very important ratio to be looking at silver versus gold guys historically yes the mean if you look at this over the past 100 years or so the average it's around 50 yes and I, I've pointed this out many many times that silver is still undervalued versus gold in a long historical time frame and this could probably go back down to 50. this chart here basically is showing that when it goes up 
it's the gold silver ratio so gold is going up relative to silver and when it goes down gold is going not uh down relative to silver meaning silver is outperforming so it depends which one is outperforming recently silver has been outperforming and i put out a video right around here and i said look guys a lot of traders probably got stopped out 80 is a historically big big level for this uh gold silver ratio humongously big level uh it's tested this 80 level many 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 times and usually it doesn't break it so recently during the coronavirus crash after the coronavirus crash i broke through this 80 level why because gold was shooting up relative to silver silver was going down while gold was going up it's basically that simple right during the coronavirus crash silver was crashing while gold is a little bit stable it probably knocked a lot of traders off their feet uh, that's an English slang of basically saying a lot of people probably got stopped out of this position where they were probably long silver short gold and they lost a ton of money and they probably had to cut their positions cut their losses here and I told my subscribers get in around here get in uh, when was the date when it was over 100 I started to tell people to get in because why when a lot of traders get knocked out that's when you want to get in when people have gotten out of the positions when you see giving up when you see detrimental position selling or buying that's when you get in and then from here on the ratio has gone all the way back here way 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 below where it was before the coronavirus meaning that silver has outperformed a lot recently so silver has outperformed a lot i think it's possible that silver may now underperform gold at least short term you look at this ratio here and we see the macd is now crossed it's going higher this going higher means that gold is going to outperform versus silver so i think this is sort of an interesting indicator rsi still hasn't gone above 50 yes i understand stochastics not really usable here it's going in and out going in and out so in my opinion i think silver kind of looks like an interesting short still i recommended it last week just because i thought it still hadn't gone down relative to gold and now i'm liking it even more because this macd is now moving starting to move in the upwards direction indicating that now silver is probably going to underperform and guys those of you who are so uh questioning me regarding uh platinum <clears throat> platinum i took a look at as well it looked interesting but platinum yes this is a nice head and shoulders it does also look like as an interesting short it's not quite as interesting as silver because it's already through its 20-day moving average here not only that but if you also look at the gold to platinum ratio it hasn't come down as much so platinum is still undervalued versus gold so it's not the same gold to silver ratio you look here silver has outperformed a lot so it's come down a lot gold to platinum has not done the same yet so if i had to pick i'd say silver is probably a bigger chance of underperforming uh instead of platinum okay so listening to this analysis what's my recommendation again guys this recommendation is coming from one youtuber i got to be very careful because now between the english channel and japanese channel there's i don't know 230 240 000, uh subscribers followers some of them are the same people some of them are not this is my idea it doesn't mean i'm right please do your own analysis please check with other youtubers other social media i'm one person one point of view it's always important to make decisions on your own mindset again this is just my opinion my idea so uh what is my idea again guys today i'm talking about short-term investing long term i still recommend you continue to buy every month gold silver platinum bitcoin in this ratio for a long-term retirement account uh, 70 90 percent of your net worth and then short term you put 30 to 10 percent why short term usually the sharp ratio is higher if you don't understand what sharp ratio is please search my old videos for sharp ratio and you'll see the videos and you'll understand why it is cognizant to do both the long term and short term so looking at today my recommendation is i like this silver short i do uh a lot of people are going to hit me and say why the heck would you have a short silver you know gold and silver is kind of like a religion people who love it really really love it i like it too i love it as a long-term investment but you must separate your short-term and your long-term investments i've said this always short term there could be a trend up or there could be a trend down and long term it could be a completely different trend this is how investing works this is why you do two different strategies and i got the same hit and pushback when warren buffett was selling uh airline stocks 
right? I got a lot of pushback when I was buying, but it was short term. It was very, very different. Warren Buffett has a 10 year view, sometimes even longer. I had a short term view for a few days or maybe a month. And yes, it turned out that the airlines went up just for that one or two months. This time I have a short term view on silver. I still like it longer term, but looking at this chart, I recommended a sell or short around August 13th. I like it. I still think it looks good. I think you hold on to the short. I think you could even add to the short a little bit more here. I think it looks pretty good. And the reason why I feel a little bit more confident now is because the US dollar, at least based on today's movement, I thought it was going to cut down. It looked, this is why the charts are, are, are such an interesting world. Yesterday, the US DUXY chart, it looked like it was about to cut down. It didn't, it hadn't crossed through yet. It was so close, but it hadn't yet. Please see my US dollar uh, yen and uh, uh, your, your euro video from yesterday. Nice move up today in the DXY index, indicating to me that DXY is still in a somewhat very light uptrend. And the US dollar in this short term uptrend, meaning there should be continued pressure on the precious metals, especially gold and silver. So that's making me a little bit more confident. We'll see if this hold. I can't promise. It's the charts. Charts are the charts. They make up their own mind with the market. But based on today's movement, I think that silver is still an interesting short. And I think also that shorting platinum just a little bit. I, I like silver more, but shorting platinum just a little bit. This head and shoulders pattern looks kind of like an interesting short. So I would recommend guys trying to short user either the ETFs such as SLV or PPLT or use the futures. Uh, sometimes the futures are, can be a little bit dangerous if you're a beginner. Uh, please don't use futures if you've never used futures before. Uh, they require margin, uh, they require leverage, and they can be sometimes dangerous. I don't recommend using CFDs because they often charge, there's very, very high charges involved that you can't see. Uh, usually the brokerage company that is uh, you have an account with is taking the fees. I'm sorry, brokerage companies, I love you. Nothing against you, but I gotta say what's best for my viewers. They're taking fees left and right using CFDs, so I don't recommend that. And shorting, it depends. PPLT, the borrow cost may be kind of high, so I may recommend using the platinum futures here. But if you've never used futures, then don't do anything in platinum. Just you, you look at SLV or SL1, uh, sorry, SL, the future, silver futures as a short term trade. This is, these are very, very volatile instruments, guys. So just play a little bit. Don't play a lot, play just a little bit. Again, I'll say this over and over short term. It's only 30 to 10 percent of your portfolio plus i recommend putting in different ideas so even if you put in a max 30 percent and let's say you have six different ideas five different ideas it should only be five to six percent of your total net worth into one idea so please keep that in mind thanks so much guys for watching my video hope you enjoyed this content english viewers let me know what else you want to hear. My Japanese viewers and my Japanese channel are very, very uh, voracious with their, uh, with their comments and their uh, topics that they want to hear. It's wonderful. So would love for you guys to speak up. Let me know what sort of content you want to hear. I am very, very uh, excited and also curious to know what my English subscribers want to hear in terms of content, whether it's market analysis, investments, investments, what type of markets, which markets, which products, uh, what time frame, uh, political analysis, economic analysis, or just other weird stuff like traveling or fitness or whatever. I'm open to anything. Let me know what you want to hear. Look forward to your comments, guys. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great day.